Prime Minister, your brand is for competence, but this conference has seemed chaotic, cancelling high-speed rail link to Manchester while actually holding the conference in Manchester. Your Midlands mayor has been touring the TV studios, begging you to change your mind, threatening to resign, a cabinet minister freelancing on tax cuts, a former prime minister and senior MPs openly criticising your whole approach. This was meant to be the Rishi reset, but it's turning into the Rishi shambles. I, you know, I just don't agree with that characterisation of it, Beth. I've been out and about for the last few days. I'm seeing hundreds of people. It's not what I'm hearing from them at all. Actually, you know what? People have got to spring in their step because they really support what I've done on Net Zero taking a different approach to meeting our targets, but in a more proportionate and realistic way, saving families five, 10, 15,000 pounds, not having to rip out boilers, install things, change cars prematurely. People saw that for what it was, a right decision for the country been, in the long term, a bold decision. And yes, people are critical of me about that, but they're fully behind it. And then if you so look you, at some of the other announcements we've made, just yesterday, a pay rise for two million of the lowest paid people in our society worth a thousand pounds coming next year. Minister, Announcement for a billion pounds of funding for 55 to towns. I don't have no, much time. But look, but these, that's I, what's going on at this conference I, and people I've, are actually right I've, behind I've it. I've done a lot of conferences and it is chaotic. I had uh, the West Midlands Mayor impromptu press conference saying uh, yesterday to a bunch of journalists you have to bloody stick to your word, as he put it on HS2. He was really upset. That's chaotic. That's not controlling the narrative. I know. I, I, I just disagree with that. When you, look, when, you, when, you, when you make decisions, as I did on Next Zero, right, there are always going to be people who criticise you when you're doing big things. But look, so, I, I, am, I, I am prepared so to do you, what I believe so you, is right for the country. So you and I think, think that the on Net Zero. going OK here? Yeah, look, I, as I say, I'm prepared to do things differently. I have a different approach to politics. I think people are tired of politicians who are talking about things focused on the easy way out, short-term decisions. I'm about doing things okay. differently. And that's what you've seen from me on Net Zero. That's what you'll see from me going forward. Because I think that's well, what the country needs and wants. If we want to deliver change, which about, I want to, we've got to do things differently. Let's talk about uh, one of the main reasons uh, that, that there has been chaos a bit here. And I'm referencing you know, and Andy Street yesterday. You're about to announce the cancellation of the HS2 line from Birmingham to Manchester. I listened to you this morning. I've listened to all your interviews saying that you need more time to assess the case. But that's not true, is it? You've personally made up your mind. No, again, there's lots of speculation on this. I'm not going to say anything to you that I haven't said to everybody else. I approach all these things carefully, thoughtfully, rigorously. Of course we should. Everyone watching, this is their Have money. You made up Tens your own mind. of billions of pounds. But you've made up your no, mind. I approach these things carefully and, and as I should do. Tens of billions of pounds of taxpayers' money. Of course we should be careful about that, making sure that this is spent right. But look, as you saw on Net Zero, I am prepared to do things Have differently you made up and, your make, mind and make on big Prime decisions. Uh, well, look, as I do with all things. I go through the. T I take the time to get it right and do what I think is right for the country. And, have and you when we do, decided, yeah, of course, you don't have to tell me the answer. No, but, but Beth, uh, I've, I've now done. Gosh knows how many of these interviews. I've said the same thing every time. I'll say the same thing to you. I care deeply about levelling up our country. You're talking about what we're doing. Well, no, but this is important. A fifth, more people in our country live in towns than live in big cities. They're too often ignored by Westminster politicians. I've changed that. Okay. We've announced a billion pounds for 55 I'm towns. Putting, including in the North and Midlands, lots of them, putting local people in charge, their priorities, okay, better high start. streets, civic buildings, making sure that their communities I'm are safe. I'm to what you're telling no, but me. Though, though, I was out visiting one of those communities the other you, day, but, but those things are making time. a real difference. Um, I'm listening to what you're telling me. So what you're telling me is you're going through a process and no decision's been made. So is it the case that the Birmingham to Manchester section could still go ahead? Now, again, you're speculating on, on things that may or may not happen. We've got spades in the ground on HS2. We're getting on and delivering it. And all I'd say is there's lots of different ways that we're levelling up communities so you across won't say the yes, it's a possibility that it might I, I'm, it I'm might saying continue. the same thing to you that I, think, I said to right, everyone else on. who's asked me. And what let's, I do want to know, people want to know, is I'm prepared is, to do what's right for the country. The truth is that you've decided to cancel that section and you're not being straight with people. And you've, you've personally made the decision. You no, might not have signed it off, but, but you've personally made the decision and you won't actually tell people. And they're watching this. And Beth, not what, being straight what, look, with people can watch and make up their own mind. They can okay. see you asserting lots of things. What they'll see from me is someone who I think they've got to know me by mm. now. I take the time to go over and the I detail how feel to get about things it when right you it and, and to make the right long-term decision that you, for the this country. Process and you haven't well, taken you a know decision. what? I think it's right that I, I, I'm not going to get forced into making premature decisions. 
not on something that's so important that costs this country tens of billions of pounds. If you now, announce it tomorrow, you've no, made the decision. It's no, not no, making you, a premature you can, decision, you, you can, you can Prime Minister. We know that. Want, look, but be, being look, forced into said, premature decisions what isn't they the right see. thing on decisions Let, of such importance. I'm going to do what I think is right for the country. That's all the same on net zero, by the way. Yeah. Again, people okay. had lots of speculation. They leaked lots of things. Right, but I did what I believe was right for the country. Explained what I was doing. Explained why I wanted is, to I save you people. Have, you have five, made up your mind. Let, let's pounds. move on. I got criticism I, for that. I took the questions. Explained okay. what I'm doing was right, and that's how I'm going to do Prime this Minister, job. Let me going move to do on. It differently about that's how we an bring change. another point of tension. Someone having a good week and enthusing the party members is your predecessor, Liz Truss. I was at her event yesterday. Packed room. Are you pleased that she's come to conference? I, might, I remember you had the decency not to come turn up to hers last year. Absolutely. It's, it's, we're a broad church, we're a Conservative Party, people are together. But look, I'm out and about talking to hundreds of my members, all very supportive of what we're doing on Net Zero, all very supportive of what we're doing to support towns around the country, all very supportive of our increase to the national living wage to give a thousand pound pay rise to two million of the lowest paid people, all very supportive of what we're doing today, by the way, on Jade's Law. Is it ensuring that interest is really important because you haven't asked me about it. I mean, these are important announcements that we are making. People remember that horrific crime, and it can't be right if someone murders their partner that they then have rights over their children. I, now, that just defies common sense. We're changing that. So, look, these are the kind of things that we're getting but, on with. A lot of support but there, for that. But we're at Conservative Party conference. Liz mm. Truss is talking about tax cuts. The party still loves her. It seems to be more than they love you. Does that sting? No, oh, gosh, no. I just, you I just you have a totally different version of what's happening. Do you not care I that had this she's debate, there talking about I had this debate with everyone last summer. My views on this are really and simple. You lost the, course, and you lost course. last summer. And I'm sitting here as Prime Minister talking to you with, today. So with no that mandate tell you, from the members. That should, that should tell you where we are. But look, this is simple. This is simple. So people do you right think now, people have forgotten what she did to the economy no, too quickly? If I could just answer. Right now, the number one challenge people have is the cost of living. Mm. That's why the first of my priorities was to halve inflation. That yes. is the best way to help people. Okay. The best tax cut that any Conservative can deliver is to bring inflation down. And you know what? That's what and Margaret Thatcher thought. That's what Nigel Prime Lawson Minister. thought. They were strong Conservatives. I'm following their I'm, lead, I'm really, and that's how we're going to help everyone. I'm really nearly out of time. You made the point about your sitting here, Liz Trust is not, but you were not elected by members. The point is, at this conference, you are a man without a mandate. You haven't got a mandate from the country. You haven't got a mandate from your own party. You're now making huge decisions about scrapping part of HS2 without anyone apart from a core of your own MPs giving you this job. If you were really serious about the long term, why don't you just go to the country? Because that's not what the country wants. That's they not, don't I, want I, go out, I go out and about every day. That's not what anybody wants. What people want is the politicians making a difference to their lives. Right, so I made a big decision on net zero. I'm saving all those families you're talking about, five, ten, fifteen thousand pounds. And if people want to criticise me for that, they should explain to those families why they think they need to pay an extra five, ten, fifteen grand to do things that aren't necessary for us to hit our net zero targets. I think the British people are completely and squarely behind my approach to net zero. They you're think it's the right long thing for the country. You're afraid right? of an election because you'll lose. I'm just getting on and delivering for people. You can see that with net zero. You can see it with the number of boat crossings down this year by a fifth. You can see it with our progress on bringing inflation down, helping people. You can see it with the long-term workforce plan, hiring doctors and nurses for the future. These are all things that are going to change our country for the better. It's an example Prime of the, Minister, the type of leadership that I'm Thank you. I'm completely out of time. Thanks Indulge very much for having me. With me. This. Very nice to see you. Next time, next party conference, will you still be here as Prime Minister? Yeah, we've got lots to get on and deliver. Okay, so you're going to be Prime Minister after the next yeah, election? Of course, I'm working very hard to deliver for the country, Beth. Okay, thank you so much for your time, I appreciate thank it. Thank you.